and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a good weekend. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get beachy kind of loose waves like these ones. I get asked quite a lot about how I do my hair. I've only started doing this in the last few weeks since I've had my colour done and it is now my go-to style. It's really really easy to recreate. It's not something that you need a really special styler for. I actually use one that I've had for years and I just use it in a slightly different way to normal to get this kind of style. So if you want to know how to get this then keep watching. So I have just washed my hair last night and I've straightened it just to take the frizz out because my hair, I cannot let it dry itself, it goes massive, like it really is about this size and it's so so frizzy so after I wash my hair I just blast it dry and use my straightener just to smooth it out, even if I'm going to cur curl my hair I would still straighten it first because it's just too frizzy to do anything with. So this is what I get just after I've washed and dried it. And I wanted to just tell you quickly what products I use on my hair. So I just use any shampoo and conditioner. I'm not fussy with it. At the moment I'm using Tresemme Colour something, something for colour, um, which I really like. And you can get the really big bottles out of Home Bargains. And then every second wash I use Silver Shampoo. Well, it's called Touch of Silver Shampoo, but it's a purple one just to take the brassiness out of my hair. Once I've washed and towel dried my hair, I use the Aussie Miracle Recharge Moisture Spray. This actually isn't my favourite one. The one I normally use is the Miracle Hair Insurance, but they never had it in boots the last time I picked it up. But the Miracle Hair Insurance is one that I have been using for probably like five years because it was back when I had hair extensions that I discovered it. It is such a good product. It just de like takes all the tangles out of your hair and it smells amazing. Everyone knows how good the Aussie smell is. Then for volume, I use the Got To Be Root Lifting Spray. I actually follow a girl, um, a blogger called Freckled Fox, or she's called the Freckled Fox on Instagram, but she's also got a YouTube channel, which I will link below. She has like the best hair ever. It's really, really, really thick and long, and she does really nice hairstyles. And she did a styling video and recommended this. So, um, yeah, I've used it ever since. All you do is you spray it in your roots just before you dry your hair and you really do notice like it goes a lot bigger because my hair can be quite flat on top. And obviously before I use any straighteners, I just use a heat protector. So I use the Swatchkov, can't say that. Swatch, Swatchkov, why can't I say this? Oh my God. Got to be Guardian Angel Heat Protection Spray. So I'm going to start off just by putting up. Okay, so normally because I have quite bad like frizzy bits around the edges, I will normally just take my straighteners and go around my hairline. Oh, that looked horrible. Just to take away the little flyaway bits. Um, I'm just using my viewfinder in the mirror and like the big bits that are really wavy and especially like in here because these are the bits that go crazy. So next I'm just going to spray this. And then the curler that I use, so I've been asked loads about this and I can never remember the actual name of it. I wonder if it's got a code on it. Type F48F. I'll try and find it on Amazon and link it, but it's not one that's massively advertised because it's quite an old one, but I use it slightly different to how you're supposed to use it. So this is just a fabulous curler, so it's like a proper curling tong like this. But the way that I get my hair into waves is by wrapping it around rather than using it like a curler. So I start like this. And then I will just wrap it like that and wrap it around. So it's oh, it's more like a um, wand, but I could never get the hang of using a wand. You know, like the conical ones that are pointed at the top. I always burnt myself, and then my curls always looked funny. They just didn't look right. So I'll just hold that for a couple of seconds, and then it just goes into like a wave, and I just work my way around taking <coughs> different sized sections and every now and then I'll make it flip the other way. Oh, it's quite difficult to do this, I do think though. This is just like quite a recent style that I've started doing. It's ever since I got like um, colour put in my hair. I used to just have all black hair and I used to wear it in big waves. So I used to use the glamour waves and I would it would kind of make my hair look like I had rollers in it, like I'd had rollers in it and really and I tend not to use this too much on the front because I know these bits are already broken. So 
I've never used the gloves with this. I've never had to because I find it quite easy when you're using a barrel that's the same all the way up. Um, I don't know, I just find it easy, easier than to do this than the conical wand. But my sister uses a conical wand and she can manage to get quite nice um, waves with it. I just can't get the hang of it. I just find this so much easier. I tend to just keep a little bit at the top just to hold on to so I don't burn my finger. Right, so for the next top bit, I am going to just, I just do it really rough to be honest, there is no, I'm just going to take this section, so my parting is here. So next I'm just going to start at the back and do some more. Look at that sorry Christmas tree behind me, it's got like no bobbles on the bottom half, from like my elbow down is bare, it's, it's a shame, Oliver smashed like I would say he's probably at 10 now. He's smashed about 10 of them. But that's what I get for getting glass bottles. Luckily he didn't hurt himself. Um, he's just broke them by pulling them off the wee string. Um, so he hasn't properly smashed them. I think he's smashed one of them. But next year I'm definitely going to be more minimal in the Christmas tree because it's just not worked this year. It's been a stress trying to get. Um, even just like normally we'll let him wander around the living room if we have to go in and make his lunch or whatever, but um, with the Christmas tree there, it's like the least baby proof thing ever. The rest of the living room is generally fine, although we did have an incident with the high chair this morning, which I'll talk about in my vlog tomorrow. It was a pretty bad incident, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, so see once I get to the front of my face, I make sure that I'm doing like bigger sections, um, so that they're facing the right way if that makes sense. I'll show you in more detail in a sec. So because I've got a side parting, I obviously have a lot of hair on the top that's going to one side. So I just use this and I hold it in this hand and put it a bit further down because I don't want the curl to start too far up. And I will just do it like this. Just make sure once you take it out, you don't touch it for a bit just to let it um, settle on its own. So this is the bit in my face, so I like the curl to start roughly about my cheekbone, so like here. This is probably the most important one. Oh. Turning it a little bit into my face. There we go, because I just want that one to go backwards like that. I'll show you this side. And then I'm just going to do this side and I will catch up with you after. Okay, so that is me got through all of it. Um, I'm just going to make sure this is straight a little, a little bit. So I will just take my fingers through it just to break up the curls a bit and just make it a bit more um, natural looking. But this does actually fall out a bit as well so it, in a good way though, like it will fall out a bit and make and go a little bit more natural looking as well but I really am happy with that today. Um, normally what I would do is just go around the top bit here and just make sure that there's no like little thingy hairs and then I'll just give it a big spray with hairspray I'm not going to do it just now because my hairspray is in my room and I forgot to bring it down but yeah I'll just give it a big spray with hairspray and then normally that's actually because these are 210 degrees they're really really hot curlers and they actually keep the curl in really really well so in the mornings I can just take my curler and oh there's a little bit here that wants to be done yeah basically you can do this in the mornings I can just go over certain little areas um, just to add a bit of a wave back in but it's actually really nice the next day, it stays in really really well and it looks nice and natural so it just looks as though, kind of looks undone but in a good way like as if you've just got a bit of a natural wave in your hair um, rather than it being poker straight. So that is us, I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and you like the hairstyle and you find it easy enough to recreate yourself if you'd like to. I'm going to leave the link to this curler below if I can find it, I'm sure I will because 
definitely wasn't expensive. I'm sure it was only £15 or so, but I absolutely love this curler and it's the best one that I've found for this kind of style. I feel like I've been trying to get this style my whole life and I've only just managed to master it. And I will leave links to all the products that I've used as well below if you want to check them out. Let me know in the comments your favourite hair products and your favourite hair stylers as well because I love trying out new styles. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!